Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with The Wig Company. It has been a while since I've worked with them and I'm so excited to bring you Make Waves from their statements line. This is in the color F24-12, which is a light brown with some ash blonde. It is adorable. It's budget friendly and I cannot wait to tell you more about it. So stick around if you'd like to learn more about this really cute piece. I love partnering with the wig company because they are such a wonderful supporter of our wig sister community and they have their own line of wigs. So they are a major online retailer. They've been around for w over 50 years and they carry some of the big name brands like Gabor, like Aesthetica, but they also have their own line of more budget friendly wigs that rival those more expensive name brands. This is one of those pieces that I think is every bit as good as a Raquel Welch or a Gabor wig. It's really adorable. But if you're looking for something that's high quality but isn't going to cost you hundreds of dollars, I highly recommend you check out the wig company. This is from their statements line and those are um, typically the ones with more of the cap features. They also have a couple of other lines that are more basic cap wigs, but this one has such cute styles. I highly recommend them. Thank you for reaching out to me, the wig company. I'm so grateful to you guys and I'm really thrilled to be showing the style. All right guys, let's take a look at this one from all sides. This uh, one is very, very fashionable and actually has a great lace front. Look at that wonderful lace front. It is fantastic. It goes all the way to the side of your forehead. Look at how good it is. So good. Now, obviously, this is a bit of a lighter color, um, so you're not seeing any dark knots, but I have some, a fair amount of experience with the Wig Company wigs, and most of their lace fronts are really excellent, so really great. That is the only cap feature on this style, which actually helps them to keep the price point very low. As of the filming of this right now, it is on sale for $99 on their website. Obviously, I don't know when you'll be watching this video, so the price could be different, but they also offer sales regularly, so you can get this one e for easily under $100, but it's definitely not budget quality, in my opinion, at all. Um, this one has a good amount of kind of wa messy waves, but it's also super polished and professional looking. I think that you could do a lot with this piece and the style if you wanted to sort of tamp down the waves, make it really sleek, really professional. You could absolutely do that with this one. As you can see, this does have heat friendly fibers that feel really wonderful. They, um, pretty much feel like Raquel Welch heat friendly fibers to me. And so you can straighten this one and take heat to it to curl it. Uh, if you want to, but one great thing about heat friendly fibers is they're very malleable and they do like to be messed with and to stay put when you do that. So for example, if I want to sort of amp up the volume a little bit and the waves and I want to kind of start toying with it, I can do that and I really don't have to use a lot of product to get it to stay that way, which is really fun about the heat friendly fibers and maybe something that you didn't know about them. This wig has, I would consider a moderate density so it's not super light density but it's not heavy and it really has a bare minimum of permatease there's a little bit of permatease on the sides here and like right up here on the top now this doesn't have any monofilament features it doesn't have a mono part or anything like that so they do need to use some permatease on the top because they have to disguise the fiber is being tied into the cap so you can't see the cap but it's not heavy permatease it's really though a perfect amount to give you a little bit of lift it gives this style some body and shape which i think is really helpful 
Now, on the topic of permatease, you can see it just ever so slightly right in here. And that's really, really common with basic cap wigs and wigs that don't have any mono features. So that is one of the benefits of mono features is they're a lot more realistic looking overall, but they're also a lot more expensive. I think there are tons of ways that you can deal with the, the permatees on this one. One of the ways is just to kind of get in there and lift up these fibers. So if you take a wide tooth comb or your fingers and you just sort of pick at them and lift them up, it will help give it a little bit more volume on the top, maybe mess it up a little bit, but it will also lift those fibers so you can't see that permatease. I also think that oftentimes if a wig um, has visible permatease, rooted colors and darker colors tend to not show it quite as much as non-rooted colors and lighter colors. I don't think it's a problem on this one. I really think that nobody's going to notice it. But if you're very sensitive to something like that, there's a couple things you can do besides what I just showed you. Number one, you can take a clip, style the fibers up off the face because you do have that gorgeous lace front. And that's going to kind of uh, bring the fibers up so you can't really see that permatease. That is one option. Another option would be to put a headband on with this one, which would be super cute. And I actually don't have one down here. So when I'm done with the bulk of this review, I'm going to go grab myself a headband and I'll show you what that looks like toward the end. So cute. One of my favorite things to do with a wig like this is to wear headbands with it. So I highly recommend that. The cap is, I would say, um, it's, it's true to average, maybe just slightly bigger than average. It definitely is loose on me. It has tons and tons of stretch. I have this cinched in just a little bit and I have a 22 inch circumference. I do get some extra cap on the top. So I would say this is going to fit average to average large really, really well, even possibly up to a large cap, depending on where you're large. And if you're used to wigs being just a little tight, because it does have really, really great stretch. I do get pretty good coverage with it. These ear tabs actually fall quite high on me. I think that's the one part of this that the cap feels big on me, but I don't get the best coverage. So my preference with ear tabs is to fall. So let me just try to demonstrate this for you. This is where the bottom of the ear tab is. I actually prefer them to be a little bit lower because then I get better coverage of my bio hair, but it's still providing decent coverage. And because of where they fall, tucking could not be easier. Wearing glasses with this one could not be easier. Of course, your head is going to be different than mine. So these will fall a little bit differently on you, but that's how they fall on me. I definitely need to cinch this one in though to fit me comfortably, which is why I say I think it's running closer to maybe average large as far as the circumference. So here's that lace front I was telling you guys about. It's a minimal lace front, but it's enough that you can get some great off the face styling. Soft, bendable ear tabs, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Their caps are actually really good for being sort of a budget friendly type line. Their caps are wonderful and I, I just really like um, the statements line from the wig company. I think they've got great styles and great prices. All right, let's see. Did I cover everything? Fit, volume, permatees, lace front. The style is super cute. One of the things I really like about this, before I talk about color, is the fact that this wig has some length at the nape. Even though it's not a long piece, the nape is just a little bit longer here which is going to provide really good coverage. So if you struggle because you have a low hairline, or in my case, I'm growing my hair out right now, and I have a lot of trouble with this part of my hair down here showing, right there, showing with some wigs. This is not going to be a problem with this one. This will hide I think just anybody's bio hair, but still be short enough that it's going to be cool. It's off your neck. It's not um, rubbing on clothing. So these are heat friendly fibers. And so you want to be cautious about, you know, how you care for them. The more they rub on clothing, the more that will uh, be detrimental to those fibers. But other than that, I just think this is a darling, darling style. All right, let's talk about this color. So F. 24 slash 12 is also called a light brown. Their tag says light brown with ash blonde. 
So let me take this off and get closer for you guys. You know what? I am going to pause this, change my battery, and I'll grab a headband, then we'll talk about color. Hang tight here. All right guys, sorry about that. I was pushing my camera to too far with that battery. Let's get on with this color. So this is such a unique color, a little bit hard to describe. So I see a very, very light brown. It's a kind of a neutral light brown. And then you've got this ash blonde that almost looks gray. There's just, I don't think there's any chance I'm gonna be able to show you that on camera here, but as I'm looking at it, I see some of those ash blonde highlights like right there. I wanna get out of here so that I can focus on it. And it just brightens it up, but I don't see a ton of warmth. I think that the, the light brown has some caramel undertones to it, and it's fairly well blended while still being dynamic. It is very pretty. I would consider this um, for people who are, maybe your hair is starting to turn gray a little bit, but you don't want to go to a gray color. This could be a great color for you because it has that ash blonde. And so it definitely um, is not kind of warm. It's not yellowy. It's just really, really unique. There is no root, so you've got just consistent color throughout. For me, I'd, I'd have a challenge because I've got a lot darker hair, so if, it, if, if you've got um, coverage issues and you have darker hair, this could be a challenge because you don't have any root or any dark highlights in order to hide that. So pretty. I will get outside, though, and you can see this color outside. It is gorgeous. I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't want you to think it is gray. It's not gray, but I definitely think some of those ash blonde highlights can kind of look a little gray because, you know, the ashy part of it in some light, but it's not the heaviest part of the color on here. You really have a lot of that caramely light brown. Okay, hope that helped, and I hope there's other reviews out there of this color so that you can compare them. Before we get outside, I'm just gonna show you what this looks like with a headband. That way I can just get my outside done and call it a day. So, I'm just gonna throw on one of my favorite headbands. I own tons of these kind of headbands, and I will link them in the description. I get them on Amazon. And I love them because they look like, like this looks like a bandana. This is cloth, it almost looks like a scarf, but they're a headband and they work perfectly with wigs because they are not tight. They fit perfectly, they don't squeeze, they don't give you a headache. So one of the things that I was telling you about earlier is if you get a piece where maybe the permit, visible permittees is more than your comfort level can handle, then one of the things you can do is you can throw a headband on because that breaks up that part, it draws the eye away, and you won't see that permatease. And it is such a fun way to change up your style. Um, you can pull all of the hair back if you want, or you can leave some of it forward like I just did. You can tuck them, the hair on the sides. You could put product in and really amp up some of the volume behind it so that you have just a fun, different kind of look and because you can have more than one headband you can really change up the style i'm just gonna pull that back for a second we're gonna put this back on and then i'm just gonna pull some hair out just to show you, you can leave some down in the front or you can pull some pull it up off your face and then you just mess around with the rest of it till it looks the way you want it to look. I'll show you one different style. I have a mirror over here, so I'm trying to make sure I can kind of see what I'm doing. I love, love, love wearing headbands with wigs of this length. So just a tip for you guys, if you're ever, ever dealing with visible permatease or you get a basic cap wig that has a lot of permatease and you're struggling with the volume, a headband will not only hide permatease, not only will it change up the style, but it can help to tamp down some volume if you're struggling with that. 
All right, you guys, that's it. Let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. Thank you so much, The Wig Company, for sending me this super cute style to show everyone. If you're looking for a shorter style for the summer or maybe for winter and you wear a lot of scarves or high-necked shirts, this one could be a great one because it is up off the neck quite a bit. All right, let's get outside. All right, here we are outside with this beautiful color. Full sunlight, definitely a bright sunny day. I think you can see some of those highlights a lot heavier maybe in the front. There's that lace front. Nice light brown, a little bit of dynamic highlighting, but nothing over the top. Really pretty. Thanks for watching. Here is the unboxing that I did for Instagram of this wig. This is your opportunity to see exactly what she looked like out of the box. Definitely want full transparency in these reviews. We want you to know what we did and did not do to these wigs, and it's really incumbent upon us to have integrity around this so that you are not being misled. So here I'm just showing all the cat features which I've already talked about. And I'm seeing it for the first time along with you guys. <laughs> so you can see my reaction. It looks pretty much like it looked in this review, don't you think? Really look great out of the box. Nothing needed to be done to it, really. Loving this style. Thank you.